Harley Davidson workers have taken as much as they can handle. Let's get into it. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. So this video is all about Harley Davidson workers and their main assembly plants. They've basically uh, taken as much as they can handle. And, um, you know, the, the company, I suppose, in trying to, um, you know, recover some ground after they had to shut down the factories, um, they're looking at, uh, well, you know, we're going to have to employ certain tactics, uh, you know, or a business model, let's say. And then who's feeding the squeeze? The squeeze is going to be felt by the workers themselves. Now, whether they may fear for their jobs as well or fear for, you know, hours, extra hours that they may have to work or, you know, reducing uh, salaries or pay packets, whatever you want to call it. I mean, basically, the brunt is going to be felt by uh, the workforce. And we know that the biggest cost for many uh, manufacturing processes is the workforce. And that's why many companies throughout history, let's say, have moved their manufacturing or their assembly plants from one country where it's really expensive and they move it to another country where it's really inexpensive. So could this be uh, on the cards? Could this be that a, a company like Harley Davidson, a typical American brand, would consider moving their plants or moving their manufacturing elsewhere? Where they're squeezing the uh, workforce to do more and to provide more free, let's say, uh, without any kind of recompense or without any kind Kind of uh, incentives uh, all for the love of the company so this has happened before in that there's uh, been some kind of uh, unhappiness amongst the workforce and different workforces at different plants have had different reasons of course but this has happened if you go back and you'll read some articles uh, from 5 10 15 years ago let's say and you wonder, is this going to happen again where workers are going to start coming out and uh, whether, you know, the truth will be known of what goes on in these plants. And when times are hard, as we all think it is right now, when times are hard and potentially it's going to get harder still, you know, will the workers at these plants uh, really start to uh, spill the beans and say how they're being treated or, or what they really feel about not only the product that they're producing, uh, but also the quality of that product and also the decisions that are being made on high. We know that there are secrets, let's say, I'll use that in inverted commas, but secrets uh, behind any company image. And we know that if you are a worker in one of these factories, let's say, then you're going to have a greater insight into that company. Now, for some, it might be a fantastic experience, and I'm not saying it isn't, but for others, it clearly isn't or clearly hasn't been. But no doubt, as market changes, as supply and demand changes, as the supply chains uh, uh, get affected as well, that people within the manufacturing process or the assembly process will be affected either directly or indirectly. And they're mainly going to be directly or indirectly affected by the, by the strategy or by the policy of the company as they try to navigate the waters. And although, yes, the company is trying to save their business or strengthen their business or reposition so they can have a better tomorrow usually that means that the workforce have to sacrifice something in order for that to be achieved could this happen again could it be happening now are these discussions already happening now i'm certainly not privy to that information but you would kind of think actually this is happening that discussions will be had that there will be a lot of uncertainty that many people uh, who work in these factories will be thinking about their futures and thinking about you know i've got to put food on the table for, for my family as well it's always going to be a tough time for anybody working in a large corporation and for a company that has recent very recent supply chain issues so they had to close down manufacturing i mean that's not going to be good for anybody but you know i'm sure as a worker you're going to be thinking well these new policies are coming where does this leave me i'm not going to stand for it we shouldn't stand for it but what can we do you know it really depends are the trade unions involved you know is there a, is there good communication between the shop floor let's say and management you know all these things play into part and this is why industrial relations is you know plays a big part in big corporations as well certainly with a manufacturing process as well so you do wonder has there been a change in direction or a restructuring within Harley Davidson? Are they employing new business tactics, let's say? And who has been directly affected by that? The here and now. And also, 
how are they reacting to it any change for the worse is not going to be welcomed and we know that and that's human nature nobody wants a, a, a worse deal most people will accept a worse deal if they know that it's gonna it's gonna help their future position let's say it's gonna it, it's going to help them in the long run. Many people in the modern era don't really care if it's going to help the company as long as it helps them. That's all that matters because you're always going to be thinking about uh, your own individual uh, situation, aren't you? Less about whether a company is going to be uh, doing better because people will say, right, well, I'll, I'll just leave this company and I'll go and work somewhere else or I'll set up my own business doing something else, you see. Let us know what you think about this or if or indeed if you've heard anything uh, about this as well about people who were working for Harley Davidson and also with these recent stoppages you know how it's affecting them as well and also can they make up ground uh, the company you know after these stoppages as well. The world is changing as we know but let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe hit that bell like and share check out the website revelatehealth.com. Ta-da.